So you've got a lot of experience in the online travel trade. Tell us, what's the difference between a good site and a bad site? A good site is a site basically which is able to engage the users uh, online kind of thing. So uh, primarily uh, all the websites uh, one should have is to basically see who is coming in and uh, what he is doing onto the site and basically is the offering of the site uh, clearly uh, visible to the user and is he able to do the transaction online. A lot of people will have websites but they'll struggle to drive traffic to those sites and drive sales through it. What are the key things or the fundamental things that people often do wrong in uh, this sort of situation? I think uh, uh, people basically uh, they create a site and then they forget about it and they, they expect that the transactions will start happening in an auto mode. That's not how uh, things go out. Uh, I think the best thing that uh, any website owner should do is basically spend at least five minutes a day on his website which will help him to see that is the, is the content on the site is afresh, uh, is the offering that is uh, available on the site, is it up to date kind of thing and then uh, try to experience the site on his own, try to make the bookings on his own and he will basically land up into various challenges that might be there on the site and he will be able to basically guide his staff to overcome those challenges. That's how the, the websites will start making transactions on, on it. Where should the, uh, the online marketing focus be, especially if you've got limited resources? Should you be focusing on a website, on social media or even mobile applications? When uh, there is a small player in the market and he is having a website, uh, digitally I think he should be doing a tactical marketing, which means that uh, uh, the cost of doing the marketing should be less. Uh, for people like uh, small uh, travel agents, uh, we would say that uh, the site should be search engine friendly. Uh, they should basically invest uh, uh, something on the social media and do email marketing. These three things, if they do it correctly, uh, they will be able to generate a lot of traction on the site. Advertising is not cheap and, and neither is search engine optimization. So if you've got a choice between those, how, how should people try and balance that? Where's the money better placed? In SEO or in advertising? Uh, I tend to disagree on uh, uh, that search engine optimization is an expensive proposition. It is the most cheapest way to bring traffic onto your site. If you see uh, the, the traditional advertising, it costs you at least uh, uh, a few lakhs, uh, around 50 plus, uh, to, to get, the, get, get, the, uh, get, get onto the decent channels and other stuff. But search engine optimization, basically, effectively, it, it costs you only uh, five rupees a click uh, to get the get the user onto your site. So effectively, if you compare both the medias, uh, it is better to get it SEO'd. Uh, it's a long-term game. Uh, till the site, your, till your site is not getting ranked onto the search engine, you should basically invest into the paid paid advertising and bring the traffic onto your site. So that's the most direct way of bringing the traffic onto your site.